Hey guys, thought I'd do a DVD update. Uh, I only have four, five. I only have five things here, but one of them, I'll I'll start with the one that I didn't buy it, but it was it wasn't in my David Fincher collection. I just wanted to prove that I did have it, and that's Zodiac. And I talked about this movie, and I just got it back from the friend that, that borrowed it from me, and it's a full screen edition, so you know I love it a lot. Anyway, now for the four new stuff. One of these I've had for a long time, but I don't think I put it in any of my updates. First one is Lincoln, uh, Steven Spielberg's latest movie. I was really excited to see Lincoln, and Daniel Day Lewis obviously won the uh, Best Actor Academy Award for this, and he played a really good Lincoln. But uh, I was kind of disappointed with Lincoln. Uh, I mean, Steven Spielberg's days of directing Indiana Jones-type movies and E.T. and Close Encounters, I think those days are going to be behind him. He's going to stick to these biographical dramas and war dramas and stuff like that, I think, for the rest of his life. But this was... It's it's very slow-paced. This movie's more of a talkie. There's not any action going on in the movie except for the very beginning. But it has great acting in it from... Tommy Lee Jones, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Daniel Day-Lewis, uh, Sally Field, who plays Mary Todd Lincoln. And I actually found myself not liking Sally Field as Mar uh, Mary Todd Lincoln. Probably because her character is always complaining in the movie, and that's because their, their son Willie died, I think, during the Civil War. And so she's always complaining about that. But I like Sally Field, but I, I just don't think I like the character that she played. But I obviously got it on DVD, because if you know, my blue pl my Blu-ray player's fucked up. And I think Blu-ray's a little bit underrated. The next one is Django Unchained. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you know that I bought this movie on Saturday. And I really, 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 really wanted to watch it. And I f got home from a band thing that I was doing. And I was so excited to see this movie because it's Quentin Tarantino. And I was pleasantly surprised at how good this movie was. Usually with the director's newer movies, you tend to hate them. You know, like Steven Spielberg's newest movies or Martin Scorsese. You tend, people tend to not like them as much as... Goodfellas for Scorsese or Pulp Fiction for Tarantino but this movie like right from the beginning of the movie it's really funny I love Christoph Waltz he won an Academy Award for this movie and for Inglorious Bastards both directed by Quentin Tarantino I love Jamie Foxx Leonardo DiCaprio is pretty cool and Carrie Washington Carrie Washington plays Django's wife in this movie she is so beautiful. I mean, she is just absolutely pretty. But this was a great movie. Uh, I think I could safely say this is probably my favorite Tarantino movie. I absolutely love this movie. I just, oh, God, if you have not seen this movie yet, you are missing out. It is amazing. The next one, I've had this one for a while. I don't know if I uh, had it in my last update, but that is Argo. Um, Argo won Best Picture. I'm pretty sure I did talk about this one, but I'm going to talk about it again anyway, because I watched it again. It obviously won Best Picture. And honestly, now, I really think Django Unchained should have won Best Picture. I enjoyed it a lot more than Argo, but then again, they're two, both two completely different movies. And they're, and, uh, I mean, Argo had its good points and stuff, but... I don't think Argo deserved the Best Picture Award. This is the second time I've uh, agreed with that. The first, I think the first time was when the artist won. I really wanted Hugo to win, and that was actually last year. But this was a good movie. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it was Best Picture material. I think Django Unchained or Lincoln. I think Lincoln should have won it. Steven Spielberg, I wish, would win another major Academy Award. I just think he needs to win at least one more. But this was still pretty good. And then the last one, this is an old one. 
uh, I Am Legend. This came out in 2008, 2007, 2008. Based on the book by Richard Matheson. And I guess, I think he, did he do the screenplay for this? No, he did not. Uh, there have been three adaptions made of this story. There have been The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price, The Omega Man with, uh... I can't remember his name. Oh my god, it's gonna hurt me really bad. And then this movie. All of them are good. The Last Man on Earth came out in the 60s, and I think, I think I could have swore I heard somebody say that that one follows the book more closely than this movie does. But the creatures in that movie are basically like zombies. They're not fast vampire-like creatures. They are, I mean, they're vampires, but they act like zombies. And George Romero said that that movie was a major influence on him for Night of the Living Dead. And it's an Italian movie. And it's like one of Vincent Price's best movies. And it's a terrific film. I Am Legend. Uh, this is a very depressing movie. And then again, you know, it's about the last man on Earth. And he's alone after he tried. I think he was, he helped try to design some sort of vaccine that would cure cancer. And it ended up turning these people into creatures. And now he hunts them down by day and uh, hides from them by night. This movie was really, really short. It's a, uh, it's an hour and 40 minutes, but if you exclude the 10-minute credit sequence, it's an hour and a half long. And that's pretty short for an action movie made in 2007. I mean, very rarely are movies an hour and a half anymore. They're usually over that or two hours. But I kind of enjoyed this movie. It was very depressing, and it had a different ending than Last Man on Earth, and I have not seen the Omega Man, but I've heard all three are good, but if you haven't seen I Am Legend, check it out. And I do have the book, and I'll read it sometime. But that's my little short update, sorry guys. I shop on a budget, and usually I budget 20 bucks, and each of these movies cost 20 bucks, and obviously I couldn't get anything more. So, that is my little update, and thanks for watching.